Welcome back to the channel, Eric here. And in this week's episode, we are back in New York City. We're about to tour this $12 million modern apartment. Normally in New York City, if you have a washer and dryer in your unit, that's considered luxury. This apartment has a swimming pool in the apartment. So make sure to stick around for the entire episode. There's a lot to unpack. Some stats on the home, it's three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, just under 2,500 square feet of interior living space with a 140 square foot outdoor terrace. The apartment is located in one of my favorite neighborhoods of Hudson Yards, right off the world famous Highland Park. This floor actually has two apartments for sale, 3A and 3B, going each for just over $6 million. 3A is actually unstaged, it's raw space, but 3B is furnished. And additionally, if you want to buy both of them, you want to buy the entire floor, it's going for just over $12 million. I'm co-listing this one-of-a-kind apartment with one of the top agents at Nest Seekers, Chester Yao. This was inspired by Su K. Chan. And he's the architect developer of Sui Highline. He also built Sui Bali. And so the current owners, they fell in love with the finishes because he incorporated a lot of the finishes and style, very Zen-like yoga feel, a wellness feel and into this development too. So welcome to unit 3B here at Surrey Highline, right off the elevator to your own private landing. Here we have a nice closet space. You know, come in from the city, put your coat here, your shoes, because this is definitely a shoes off type of apartment. And then from the landing, we enter the open concept living space. We have double height, 18 foot ceilings. It's very rare in New York City to have this much volume vertical. Now there's a lot to unpack in this apartment. When you do enter, it is just all open space. And this is the living room. And the first thing I wanna point out and speak about is this oak paneling. This is white oak on the wall from floor to ceiling. And it's worth stating when it comes to white oak, the wider the plank, the more expensive. So as you can see, these are almost two foot wide planks of white oak going up the entirety of this wall. And it's also very interesting because normally white oak is something you would find on the floor of an apartment, but here we have it on the wall. And on the floors beneath us, we have azul limestone, which is actually heated from beneath. So like I mentioned, it's a shoes off apartment. You kick your shoes off, you heat up the floors, get real toasty. And then speaking of toasty, we also have the gas burning fireplace. And this isn't just for a show, this fireplace actually throws off heat, so it is functional and beautiful. Like Chester was mentioning, the architect wanted to really bring that Villa Balinese style to New York City, give it a modern touch, and here we have Surrey Highline. Now from the formal living area, we're gonna walk over to the formal dining room space where we have this awesome marble table with seating for eight, Again, these light fixtures, these waterfall light fixtures flowing down from the ceiling, adding that dramatic effect, mixing that villa style with the modern New York City touch. And also, if you look across the room, we have a half floor glass mirror, which also acts as a nice bounce when that light does shine in. So the lighting in this apartment is one of my favorite features, the fact that the entire day you get that natural sunlight, even though this is a northern facing exposure. And this is also a full floor apartment, so you do get that southern facing exposure at the back end of the apartment. Then behind me here in the dining room, we also have the floor to ceiling glass windows. And if you look, that's actually a swimming pool in this apartment. You wouldn't really think in an apartment like this that there would be a swimming pool, but we'll get to that in a second. For now, let's head from the dining room to the kitchen. On the countertops, we have this beautiful Italian marble, which waterfalls down to the floor. We have this nice dark oak, and there are no handles on anything in this entire kitchen. If you notice here, it's just a subtle lip, and it's flush on the side, which really adds to that minimal modern feeling. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but the kitchen of an apartment, that's really how you can tell the age of a building is by the kitchen and the appliances. But I've been noticing in these higher end buildings how it's becoming more and more sleek, no handles, and I really love that touch. This is one of my favorite features of the kitchen, these white lacquer cabinets. Again, just everything is so sleek, you don't have any appliances out, and this is very unique. If you open this up, this is actually a trash compactor, which if you live in the city, this right here is a luxury. You never have to leave your apartment. You put your trash right in here down the chute. It's all tucked away nicely. We also have space above for storage. Then making our way down again, we have the pantry, 
right here. All hidden hinges, handleless, soft closing. Towards the end of the kitchen, we have these suite of Miele appliances. I do love this, the theme of the mirrors throughout. I've never seen a mirror in a kitchen. This mirror is just purely for the aesthetic, so you can watch yourself cooking up a storm. And then behind me, we have the refrigerator. This is a Sub-Zero, again, handleless, seamlessly blending in. I just, I love the white lacquer. I think that really makes a, a just a minimal modern statement. And then in the center of the kitchen, we have this island. This is a chef grade stovetop. This is a six burner cooktop by Miele. Over top, we have the oversized hood with the recessed LED lighting. So you can really get that nice light when you're chopping up your meal, you're prepping. We have the Miele oven right below. And then on the sides here, plenty of storage space in this island. And now moving on from the kitchen to the fun part. I was actually blown away by this. Through this glass door, we walk out to your very own 20 foot long, four foot deep private pool. It's very hard to put this into perspective, especially if you've never lived in New York City, to have a villa like Balinese spa pool in your apartments with an infinity edge. I do want to mention that this is a salt water pool. Uh, I was a swimmer actually and chlorine can kill your skin and your hair. Heading on in from the pool, I'm actually kind of bummed I didn't bring a bathing suit. It is that tempting to have a pool in the city, but we are back in the kitchen and I forgot to point this out when we were here earlier. There's this nice breakfast bar on the other side of this island with these two stools. Makes for a nice moment. You could sit here while someone's cooking. From the chef's kitchen, we're going to head down this hallway to the living space. Off to the left here is the first powder room. This powder room has that nice white oak wide paneling that we saw in that living room. We have this awesome inlaid shelving right by the toilet. The main piece in this bathroom is this floating vanity. We have the full length mirror with the awesome recessed LED lighting behind, really giving you that nice glow when you're looking in the mirror. Continuing on down the hallway, we're going to go left. The master is off to the right, but we'll say that for last. I want to point this out here. This is the in-unit laundry washer and dryer with the nice shelving storage above. But again, this is another luxury in New York City to have full washer and dryer in your apartment. Off to the right from the laundry room, we have the first of the guest bedrooms. And I want to point out that every single bedroom has an all-in-suite bathroom, which is very important, especially in the luxury market. We have the standing steam shower. In this apartment, there were no details that were spared. Even you have this awesome full-length mirror. You have this nice lip here right above the toilet, floating vanity. And I do want to point out, even if you look at the door handles, they are clad in leather which just really, it, everything ties together in so nicely to really drive home that aesthetic. And one more thing I want to point out, as always, hidden hinges. Another sign of a luxury place is when the hinges are hidden as the door shuts. From the bathroom, we're going to head into the first of the guest bedrooms, which is a very decent sized space for New York City. I also love how they have this lip over on the ceiling and the lighting is recessed behind this lip, just giving it that nice aesthetic touch. And if you notice, there's actually outdoor space for this bedroom, which we'll get to in a second when we show you the master. But we're gonna leave this first bedroom back onto the hallway. Off to my right, we have the second of the guest bedrooms. Again, ensuite bathroom, exact same finishes as that first one. And this is another decent sized bedroom. There isn't a balcony here, but you have the full length floor to ceiling window. As I mentioned that this is a full floor apartment. So here now we're facing south and you can even see that natural sunlight coming in from this second guest bedroom. We're gonna now head back out into that main hallway. And we're gonna go all the way to this end where we have the primary bedroom suite here at Surrey Highline. First thing you notice in this primary suite is this awesome closet space. This is by Polyform. It is metal with glass and if you open this up, you have all that recessed lighting which turns on automatically as you open your closet space. Imagine you have your entire wardrobe in here all nicely lit so you can really see your outfits when you're getting ready for the day in the city. From this closet, we have the king size bed front and center in this room. Again, showing the size of this space where you can fit a king size bed in this primary suite. But the main thing that I wanna point out in this primary suite is the outdoor space. 
Here we have 130 square feet of prime southern facing outdoor space. And it's really interesting because this apartment checks almost every single box as far as items that would characterize an apartment as luxury and having outdoor space in the city is that last one to take in the fresh air, get that natural sunlight. Another thing also is you do have a nice view. Down below we have an awesome courtyard. If you even look off in the distance, you can see the High Line, which is one of my favorite places in the entire city. It's one thing to have outdoor space in the city. It's another thing to have outdoor space that is kind of shut off from the rest of the city. There's no street down below. It's residential, it's quiet. So heading back on inside from the outdoor space, walking past these polyform closets, we're heading to my favorite room in the entire apartment. I have never seen a bathroom like this in the city. Welcome to the primary suite bathroom with 18 foot high ceilings. Now this is one of those signs again of a truly luxury building space. When you have double height ceilings, in your bathroom. This bathroom has a ton of details and we're gonna unpack every single one starting with this metal framed glass pocket door. So for that aspect of you know, not necessarily privacy but if you want to have a barrier between the actual living and sleeping quarters in the bathroom you have that. So walking in first things first I don't know if you've ever seen one of these but this is pretty cool. This is a Toto Neo Rest smart toilet. These things run just about 10 grand. So you open this glass door, you walk in, and your toilet greets you. This toilet has so many features. It has an oscillator, a pulsator, a dryer, and of course, it even flushes. If you look in the sink, you have the flush hidden drain, these awesome chrome faucets, which are floating in this glass mirror, these two huge LED light columns giving you that perfect lighting when you're getting ready in the morning. Right off the vanity, you have this deep set, freestanding soaking tub with this lip right here to place your soap, your phone, nice glass of wine. On the floors of this primary bathroom, you have that beautiful polished beige marble. Then if we walk to the other side, we have the glassed off steam shower. We have the glass door with the metal handle right here, also serving as a towel rack. And this is a nice feature, especially if you are on the taller side, we have the rainfall shower head, and then we also have the additional fixture right here. Even if you want it from your steam shower, if you look here, we have floor to ceiling glass where you have a view of your swimming pool, where if you wanted, you could open this door and jump right out of your shower or your bath into your private 20 foot long saltwater swimming pool in New York City. That's pretty badass. I wanna thank you so much for watching this episode. Comment down below your favorite parts of this apartment. For me, it was the pool. The bathroom was a close second. But yeah, one of my favorite places that we've toured on this channel. I hope you're well watching this. Again, all the information to purchase this place is down below in the description. If you do have $12 million lying around, or six, to buy one of the units. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.